Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Haro Hobby Gaming and in this episode of Ifecos I'm gonna review the upcoming or maybe the lighter update for ships and this is frigates class and I think this is the best frigates class for upcoming update and this is Mordus Legion Garmor yes Let's do the proper introduction first for this Mordus Legion Garmor. You can see this is Mordus Legion and the name was Garmor, frigate class. While she can use 3 high slot, 3 medium slot, 3 low slots, 3 combat rigs and 3 navigation rigs. And let's take a look at the ship traits. Um, what? Drone? I don't see any drone slot in here, but I think this ship thread is wrong. And the electronic warfare is true. The Garmor and the Mordus Legion have a very have a speciality for Wap Scrambler and Wap Disruptor. And shield, yes. Mordus Legion ship is using shield as ma their main defense. And the ship bonus skill is from Advanced Small Missile or Torpedo Operation and Advanced Frigate Command. Okay, now let's take a look first at the roll bonus. While the roll bonus is minus 50% missile or torpedo flight time. Wow, that's crazy. So it means your flight time, your missile flight time is cut by 50%. And plus two hundred percent missile or torpedo velocity, plus one warp scramble strength, and the next was advanced small missile torpedo. We can get plus twenty percent small missile or torpedo damage, which is or which means we can have plus one hundred percent small missile or torpedo damage if we have max our advanced small missile or torpedo operation. And plus five percent small missile or torpedo explosion velocity. So it means uh, all of these ship bonuses for missile is having positive having positive for the damage or I mean the damage from Mordus Legion missiles is will always have one hundred percent damage for all enemies. The speed enemies, the big enemies, the small enemies, they will have 100% damage because of the explosion velocity, the torpedo flight time, and velocity. And they can fast or they travel fast. They, their missile is travel very fast. And the next was Advanced Frigate Command. We can get plus 50% Warp Scrambler Optimal Range and plus 50% Warp Disruptor Optimal Range. Okay, now um, let's take a look at the fitting. Um, this is STML's Small Torpedo Launcher. Yes, this is not yet on the market. This is uh, Officer small torpedo launcher and we will try it because well yeah this is um, this ship is not yet in the market yet so we can try with anything stronger this is stml small torpedo launcher and in the database this is the stronger the strongest torpedo launcher in the database and we can have look at that flight velocity 7 1425 activation time 3 seconds explosion velocity 188 explosion radius 13.77 and flight time 1.44 second and missile range 10.69 km while well, we can compare to standard marker let's take a look Slot, missile launcher, torpedo. Okay, let's take a look at PTC type. The flight velocity standard flight velocity is two thousand and two hundred fifty ms. 
and the missile range is 5.4 km so we are upgraded by about 200% from base missiles launcher okay now next was Tobias Stasis Baby Fire Heli Target Painter Predator Warp Scrambler and on the bonus for this Karmur we can have more optimal range and more warp chamber strength well you can see Predator Warp Scrambler is 5 in warp chamber strength well in Karmur or the other mortal legend we can have 6 while the optimal range is upgraded to, to 22.5 kilometers okay the next was send the c type small of afterburner send the c type small shield booster bitum c type ballistic control system now for the rigs we got payloading accelerator 3 payloading accelerator 3 warhead calefaction catalysts to upgrade our damage and our activation time and for the navigation rig because this is frigate we are using or maximize our speed and inertia modifier where we get inertia modifier adjustment flight velocity and another flight velocity so this is our fitting and our dps is sitting at 5 uh, 561.71 and navigation is 771.45 okay now let's test the Skarmour to elite hair squad let's warp at zero Drive active. What, um, this Karmur is very very cool looking yes very cool looking ship I'm loving it and let's try um, sorry I haven't orbit 9 kilometers set Auto orbit, okay. Um, orbiting at seven, I think. Okay, we are hit. Okay, our damage is one thousand and two hundred So, um, with torpedo, it's not very good. And we can try with missiles launcher. Let's do it. Warp drive active. Yes, it's not very good with torpedo launcher. Actually, small missile torpedo launcher. Docking request accepted. Let's try with standard missile launcher.
Okay, our DPS is down to 395.78. Activation time, wow. But look at that, flat velocity and missile range. Whoa. The missile range from this um, Garmor is very crazy. It's upgraded to 29.7. Well, the standard is... Let's take a look at the standard. The standard is only 15 kilometers, so it upgrades by 200%. So, wow! And maybe we can have another ballistic. Wait, where's my ballistic? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's end up. Undocking. And let's set our orbit at warp drive active in twenties, okay. Okay, let's attack them. Oh, nice. 900 for missiles. Wow. And we are orbiting at 2100. And yeah, I think that's that's very good. And if we turn on two of these ballistic modules, we got Activation time about 6.22 seconds and <clears throat> our DPS is upgraded to 654.97 Wow Yes, I think this is the best fitting for Garmur Look at that Nine hundred and fifty-eight, nine hundred and nineteen. Okay, so that's very good. Oh, the standard damage is eight hundred seventy-one. And look at that missile flight speed is very fast. So even the fastest enemy, we still can hit with these Garmo missiles. Look at that, it's very good. Yeah, surely this is very, very nice. Frigates, uh, of course, faction frigates. Can be a nice tackle, can be a nice PvP, can be nice PvE. Wow. So with speed like this, we are barely scratched by the enemy, yes. Our maximum navigation is 2193 and we are orbiting at 2151. It means we are on very very good speed. 
Okay, let's try orbiting that Corax. Two thousand and eight hundred seventy one for one bits. Wow. Yeah, do you agree with me? This ship is very very cool. Look at that. Oh my god. The shape of this ship is so... Every boy favorite. So it do it does same damage for all enemies. So from this range, I think we can say we are safe from like web fire or disruptor. Okay, nice. Okay. Now that's that's Elite PT Merlin, and let's try to kill him first. Okay.
back. Oh, we are getting hit, clearly. Okay, nice. So, um, if you want to change these models, I think we can change these web models and scramble models with uh, armor repair, ah, sorry, I mean group shield repair, yes. To repair our shield or maybe our capacitor so we can have group shield repairer and group remote group capacitor transmitter so we can maximize our attack while we can maintain our defense because i think we don't need any scrambler and webby fire if we are on pve Okay.
okay our combat demonstration is done and how do you think about the performance of this car more and I, I think I like this very much yes this is very strong brigades very strong ship and the bonus is very very good but still this is still in beta I mean everything which is not live on our live server is we can call that beta and the developer can change the status or balancing the status anytime on the feature because maybe this is overpowered maybe this unbalanced and anything but well for the current performance i like this Carmor and the other modern legends so much and this is it this is the end of this video and i hope you like it and if you have any thing to be tested if you have any fitting to be tested on a hard anomaly or hard dead space you can ask me on the comment section and if you want anything to be tested or if you have any game suggestion you you want to play together you can comment on the comment section and lastly thank you for watching my video and i hope you enjoy it see you on the next video bye bye